Welcome to the Texas Hillbilly Homestead channel. We got a review video for you that uh, me and Sam are going to try out here. So Amazon, this came from Amazon and they shipped it pretty poorly. The box is pretty torn up because it was a smaller box and a giant box. This is the 10 mint 6 inch mini chainsaw that uh, someone sent me. It, 24 it's, volt? it's a 24 volt portable chainsaw, battery powered. Looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. Open that thing up son. Instructions. There's the saw. There's the saw. Okay. And what do you think? Feels pretty good. It's pretty solid. Safety glasses, gloves. All right. What, look. Uh, it's dinnable for kids or adults. <laughs> we need more uh, safety glasses, so that's probably a good thing. This, Here's a charger. This is as much as it can go. <laughs> it can just go that much. And then two batteries. These are made for babies too. <laughs> <laughs> We got two batteries here. Let's see how they engage. Pretty good. Does it have a charge? It does. It actually feels kind of good. All right. Um, to charge the batteries, it's not the typical slide this into a little dock. You just plug this DC adapter right there into the back of that battery. Uh, it's a 21 volt 1.3 amp hour charger and it comes with like Sam said safety glasses gloves what do you got there uh, extra chain blade thing extra chain mix we got a screwdriver for adjustability of the chain which is right here you just tighten that up a little bit and that looks good maybe a hair more okay tighten this up and a little oil bottle, you're supposed to oil the chain and the little drive gear that's inside here. We'll show you that in a little bit. But uh, what do you say we just get to cutting something with this? See how it works out. I got my safety, my PPE that they sent. So let's try this out. Let's start with a little limb. This little thing, I think it's dead, so it's probably really hard. The cedar trees around this area, they're very hard when they're alive. They're extremely hard when they're dead. So let's see how this cuts. First cuts. Wow, it that just pretty good. shredded through it. So of course it's a brand new blade, right? Um, maybe we ought to cut this bigger branch, see what it does. I'm going to go all the way to the stop here. Dang. That thing's pretty good. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go like down a trail on a four-wheeler or something, and you want to cut limbs that are in your way, this is super handy because this thing only weighs like four pounds, you know? Mm -hmm. it, well, the weight was double with the battery. This is cool. Do you want to try it out? Yeah. All right, Sam's going to try to cut this tree limb right here. Now, this is a test of a 10-year-old using this saw. Now, this is a very dangerous item, right? Don't ever want to touch the blade. Keep that away from your face. Keep it away from your hands. And this thing's going to pull upward as you squeeze the trigger. So, you're ready. So, you got to push the button in and squeeze the trigger. Good. Nice, huh? Now, let it go all the way up to the stop so it doesn't go crazy on you. Push up. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, good five. Without a chainsaw. Good job, Sam. <laughs> How about that lane? You wanna take out you wanna do some more? Yeah. It's fun, right? That's Try fun. yeah, take out these low hangers. A little bind going on there. Good. <laughs> hey. You shouldn't have to push very hard, okay? Cool. I see why they want you to wear gloves, because it slapped my hand when one of them got caught. as convenient as pruners but as strong as one of those those pole saws you used to buy like the Remington nine inch chainsaws this is just as strong as one <coughs> except I bet the blade is probably a lot cheaper to replace let's see what else we can do look at this thing I don't even 
even know if this battery's charged. I mean, I don't know if it's fully charged. It's obviously charged some. Maybe I halfway. I thought maybe we'd make one cut and it would die, but it's apparently pretty decently charged. Like a glove. Will it cut barbed wire? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. In other words, will barbed wire destroy a blade? Yeah. Let's cut this out of the way. All right. Now we got to clean up tree limbs. How about some shrubs that are on the ground level? How's it do with these? Oh, oh it actually got caught and stopped. Let's try again. Dang. Second attempt, it went right through it like butter. I think it's more of like when a limb halfway breaks and it like binds on the chain bar. That's probably what happened. There's another one here I'm gonna cut out. I cut these long ago and they just keep growing back. Like a lawnmower, or a weed ear. Yeah. All right, let's go for it. It seems like it. It seems like it's having more trouble on little, on little things. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, let's uh, look. I got some a bunch of grass from cutting that grass. Got up inside this guard, so this will be a chance to see the drive wheel. Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> it's warm. Where's your little brush? They sent a brush for cleaning this area out. It's nice and clean. Brush your teeth. All right, and this easily goes right back on. So after what we do, probably a dozen or so cuts on cedar, uh, still have plenty of battery, battery life left. The chain has loosened up just barely. And we cut some shrubs that were kind of stubborn. So what else can we cut? <laughs> you think I should try to cut that old thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. better. Okay. Now another thing they show in the pictures is cutting wood. So do you think this thing will do okay cutting a piece of wood? Yeah. <laughs> Could have used this yesterday building the porch thing, huh? Yeah. Sam's going to do some pruning on this tree here. More cedar. Starting. Good job. That's about one inch. Those are a little smaller. They're kind of dead looking. Tiny things. This one? Yeah, go ahead. Did it, it lock? It locked up. We'll pull it down if you can. It's because the, the motor's hitting the tree and it's putting it out of bind. There you go. Now we're going to put lumberjacks out of business, aren't we? Like axe companies are going to be going out of business. They're all going to yeah. be using this thing. Is it binding? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's pinching at the bottom. There we go. Hold up, let's, uh, I'll pull it up right. The cedar, like, peels weird. And did it die? It died. Two. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, me too. Yikes. Son, you look like a porcupine. And they're just what getting stuck to you, Look at my shoes, covered in them. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, so one battery down after, I don't know, 20 cuts or so. Um. Again, I don't know if they're fully charged. I will update on the video if they were or not. All right, getting them out is kind of hard. You got to really squeeze this button down pretty hard. And here's the second one. If you notice in the in here, it's just two big blades the battery engages with. All right. That sounds even more charged than the first one did, right? Yeah, I am covered in sticker burrs. This is crazy. Look at this. Maybe you, we should always wear gloves because it can help with getting sticker burr. Ow! <laughs> sticker burrs off. Right. All right, the blade is a little loose too. You know, heat causes expansion, so let's give it a little tensioning. Still loose. That's better. Look at that. There's little things sticking up. That's what I need to cut with this. They're, they're a little bit overgrown. Did it lock up? Yeah, it's just too small of a limb. It sucks it inside here and it seizes everything up, it seems like. 
Okay. We just got to get a hang of it, I think. I cut Perfect. really low on that one. Yeah, it did really good. This is so handy. I mean, it might not be the most powerful chainsaw, but the, the fact that it only weighs like five pounds and it literally can just hang from your wrist and you can climb a ladder, you know? Mm -hmm. You could you could put this in a backpack. It's crazy. I, I love this thing. What else can we do? Let's go to your tree house. Yeah, that's like in the tree house, there's a lot of overgrown things. This tree is great for concealment, but we have a limb in our way. So go ahead and chop that guy out of here so we can stand up underneath. So if you were able to cut more downward, like if you were able to get high. Dang, it! I thought it was going to be hard to cut it like that. Timba! Hope the dog wasn't down there. <laughs> Alright, look. So normally when you cut in a tree limb, you want to cut like downward, not like that. Because if you cut like that, the falling tree limb gets tight at the bottom and catches your blade. Anything else without losing too much concealment? I think this guy right here. Right here. I can't reach that. You can, but I can. I think I can. Where's the button? Man, cedar's much harder than whatever this is. These are like a china berry or, this is or something or... And uh, it does great. Cool thing about this tree house is nobody can see us in here. We're 360 degrees concealed by green tree limbs. Winter time, different story. Do you want to try to cut that one? Yeah. Go right on ahead. Guys, it cuts so good. Yeah. Even like went a little far and <laughs> put five big old grooves right it there. It can just go like. Yeah, that is awesome. Perfect. That's awesome. It's so perfect. Now, can I quick draw? <laughs> I'm going to see if I could wear this battery down until it dies, okay? So, what about this giant thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you think? Will it do anything? That's insane. It's kind of getting in a bind, that's why it's stopping. Jeez, it's just a it's just a hand. It's, it's just, just a, a little six inch mini chainsaw and it is shredding through this old hard cedar like butter. Now this is a brand new fresh blade, I get that. So I'm probably wearing it out very quickly, but I'm going to look up what the cost of replacement blades are because this thing is so cool. I'd I, say I maybe wanna... like 10 bucks or eight, right? They're probably several for 10 bucks, I would think. The end of this thing's only $60 for the whole kit. I wonder if I can cut any more of this off. Now, I thought it would make it like an inch into this and it would just stop. It's just binding every once in a while. Oh, I think it died. I think it finally died. That one, like, Wait. half... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're done. That is insane. Like, I almost cut through, through that. that just... I cut this with a big old Husqvarna, like, 16-inch chainsaw. And it had trouble. <laughs> This thing is awesome. This thing has trouble, but you don't need to carry around a big old bulky yeah. chainsaw. This is, I, I never even thought about owning something like this. Didn't even know they made this. Now I feel like everybody needs one of these. Like, I should get this as like a Christmas gift for my dad, you know? This is too cool. All right, now let's go to the treehouse. What are your thoughts on the 10 mint six inch mini chainsaw? I think it's almost better than the a normal chainsaw because you don't need to carry around a two and a half feet 
long, heavy chainsaw. Right. You and don't need to have a big old chainsaw. Right. You don't have to carry on a gas mm -hmm. can and deal with all the mixtures. You don't have to smell like uh, two-stroke oil. Two-stroke gas makes you stink and smell like, like oil. This, nothing. Doesn't get hot. Hardly weighs anything. Light. Lightweight, yeah. And so, you can also like get up in high places. Yeah. Without having like a... All right, so for what it is, being a battery-powered portable mini chainsaw, how would you rate this uh, 1 out of 10, 10 being the best? 8. 8? Yeah. Okay, so I've never used another one. I'm sure there's probably some high-quality ones out there. All right, for a battery-powered mini chainsaw that on Amazon only costs $59. Right now it's on sale for $59. It's normally about $85 or $89. So Pretty for $60... Yeah, I would give this probably an 8, maybe even a 9, because of the price point. This thing is awesome. This thing's going to stay in my truck forever, because you never know when you're going down a trail, and there's some tree limbs out in front of you, and you don't want to carry a chainsaw around with you everywhere, have, you know, gasoline or bar and chain oil leaking out of your chainsaw in the back of your truck. But this thing? No problem. Now, I wonder, does Tin Mint make any other tools that these batteries go to? So... I'm really curious about that. What other tools do they have in this Are line? They like hands, hand something like handheld battery powered mini whatevers. Yeah. So overall, pretty awesome. Uh, I'll add a link to the description here. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Okay, it's in. Is there any indication that it's charging? Any light anywhere? No. No, nothing. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Nothing on this. Oh, look, the block. Oh, yeah. But if you unplug it, does the block still say red? Okay, so green means fully charged, probably. Plug it in. It means it has power. Plug it in. Okay, red means it's charging. So we're going to come back and check on this thing in a little bit, and I'll put on the screen how long it took to charge. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed this review. Go out and buy yourself a 10 minute 6 inch mini chainsaw. This thing is awesome. Thanks for watching Texas Hillbilly Homestead. See you next video.